Well, friends, it is Ken Perry again with a weekly update. In fact, this is the last weekly update of the year. So we've been doing these every Friday. Uh, this one's kind of a serious one and it deals with your identity. So pay attention. This uh, week, we found out that 14.7 million people's data, including their social security number, was breached from your good friend, Mr. Cooper. This happened on Halloween and it was just announced in their SEC report that they said that they lost all of this data, that hackers were able to breach it. They've locked it down since then, but yeah, that happened. Now, if you've ever had your loan serviced by Mr. Cooper or formerly by NationStar, which I have, you're probably gonna get a letter soon if you are one of those people who was breached. But it's not the only breach that's happened. We're watching one by one by one by one, just constant breaches. In fact, the funniest one that shouldn't be funny, but it is, was a breach against a company where they did not report the breach to the SEC as they're required to do. And that company, the hackers that actually breached the company, reported them to the SEC for not reporting the breach that they did. So hackers reported the company that they hacked so that they could get their ransom. So it's bad out there, you guys. And there's only a few things you can do. And I just want, I don't wanna give you too much. I wanna give you just a couple quick things. Number one, I would love for you to go into your passwords in your phone, if, you, if that's where you save them, wherever you save them, make sure that you're not duplicating passwords. That's just like the easiest thing, right? So if you have a login that was breached and that's a login password you use for any other system, the bad guys will just take that password and try it in everything, in your Facebook and your LinkedIn, all that stuff. And I think we all know people who've had their Facebook passwords breached. So just watch your passwords and how you're using them. Second thing you can do is take all of the important logins you have and, and use multi-factor authentication. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's available in, in a lot of sites. Like for example, my PayPal. I use multi-factor authentication on my PayPal and my Venmo because if you get in there, you're gonna get access to my money. And so what I do is if you were to log in using my password, it would send me a text and then I would take that text and I would type in the little code. I mean, we've all done it, right? You type in the little code and that gives you access to that account. Turn that on for everything you possibly can just to get that extra step. Now it doesn't 100% protect you, but these are just steps that you can take to protect your identity. Let me give you the final piece. There is a website that allows you to get a free credit report. I think right now you should all go do this. It's annualcreditreport.com. It is the only site that the government authorized as a free credit report site. So don't go to free credit report, don't go to any of these other sites, go to annualcreditreport.com. You can pull an Experian, an Equifax, or a TransUnion credit report through that, and you can look at it to see if there's anything that's not yours. You need to do this fairly frequently, so jump on and do an Experian one today, maybe do an Equifax one in three months, maybe do a TransUnion one in three months. There were some uh, additional free credit reports that you got through like the COVID uh, issues that came up. And so you, you do have access to more credit reports than you did, but just get used to every quarter pulling your credit and looking to make sure that there's nothing unreasonable on there. There's nothing that's not yours. Check that out all the time. All right, let me give you one more freebie on this. And that is check your credit card statements. My wife and I just went through our credit card statement and somebody has been using a, a credit card that we have uh, buying Amazon things from an Amazon seller and doing it at like $2 and $3 at a time over the last 18 months. So we lost a bunch of money, we're getting it back, but it's a nightmare to go back and fight and get all of that back. So watch your credit card statements, look for the little $3 things, don't look for the $500 things, I mean, obviously look for that too, but look for the little ones because that's what these bad guys are doing is once they get a hold of your credit card, they're just using it in small increments so you don't even know that it's missing. And over time, it can add up to hundreds or thousands of dollars. So that's my end of year thing. If you're, if you're looking at what do I wanna do this year to kind of close out the year, protect your identity because other people aren't always doing it to the level that you would hope. They have breaches and you've got to protect yourself. There you go. Thank you for listening every week this year and we will continue doing these because I think they're very helpful for you. Have a great day. Comment below this video. Uh, follow me on Facebook. We'll see you.